Sentence building using the present tense of be verbs. We have be verbs in the present tense form like am, is, and are. Here is structure you can find who. This is for the subject and there is be verbs like am, is, and are. And there is the third step, professions. Last two is about where and the full stop. Put am, is, and are if the subject is singular especially if it is a person like who I am a teacher in a school you can see the picture that he is a teacher and he is saying that I am it is the present tense of be verb she is an accountant in a bank here the person is she and the be verb is is you are a doctor in a clinic and definitely this you is singular because it is saying about a single doctor and the subject you it refers to a single subject yet we have to put are because this pronoun requires are always if it is single subject or if it is a plural one but we have to use are after you sentence building using the present tense of be verbs now we will talk about be verbs with the plural subjects the same structure we can find who for the subject be verbs like am is are the third step is about profession what and the last two is where and the full stop put are if the subject is plural the subject definitely is about who the person we are teachers in a school we is a plural pronoun and it requires the be verb are you are doctors in a clinic here you refers to doctors and these doctors are plural so we have to use are for plural you they are engineers in a company they is a plural pronoun and it requires the be verb are we use be verbs with the different objects and names like here we write one sentence trees are green tree is a single noun but trees is a plural noun and for these trees we have to use the be verb are we can also give example those are my books here we can see books my books is a plural noun and for this my books is followed by are sentence building using the present tense of the main verbs in sentences we have to use the subject and then we have to use the main verbs it can be be verbs or it can be the main verb like for the first person like I and we the second person you and the plural subjects such as they students people etc use the base forms or infinitives of the verbs we have certain rule for these pronouns when we use in our sentences like add s es double s or ies to the present form in the bracket we can say base form of the main verbs if the subject is third person singular number like he she it or any single person animal or a thing we can give an example like Ali is a single person or we can replace him with he a student it can be he or she a book it refers to it a dog also it refers to it so when we use these pronouns as subjects we have to use the main verb carefully here is a structure who for the subject it can be a person sometimes in this place we can use an animal or a thing the second step is verb especially the main verbs we have to use in this following structure then about the adverbs like where and what time or something else and the full stop let's see the example he works in the police the subject is here single it is a singular pronoun 
and then have to use the verb work is the main verb but as it is a singular subject we have to add s with the main verb in the second sentence we find we live in abha we is a plural pronoun and the main verb here is leave so there is no addition of s e s double s or i e s with the main verb as the subject we is a plural noun or plural pronoun the next sentence she watches tv every day again the subject is singular so it requires e s with the main verb what is the main verb but as it is the subject singular singular pronoun she so it requires es with the main verb last example ali is the name of a person ali studies english in the class it is a singular name ali a single person the main verb is study but as it is a singular number noun so we have to add ies with the main verb like study study is the main verb so when we add i e s or we use singular subject then we have to delete y and in place of y we add i e s